hello everyone welcome back to the channel as you can see here is my hp pavilion 14-ce 3609sa and recently the many hp user they found the issue which is display flickering when they use the trackpad okay so this machine also does have the same problem now to solve this problem first of all we need to know where the problems come from is that from the motherboard from the faulty lcd from the faulty connectors or that could be the software issue which could be related to the driver or the operating system so first of all the easy solution is we need to find what is the problem is what are you going to do to do that we're going to connect to external monitor and see while you use the trackpad if the same flickering does happen to the external monitor if it does happen, we can confirm the problem is from the actual motherboard because we're going to connect the external monitor in hardware basis through the HDMI connector, right? And if the external monitor doesn't flick or if it behaves normal, then we can confirm either the problem could be on the laptop's LCD, which could be accidentally faulty by heavy pressure or drop off or something like that or could be as i said the lcd connector but first we're not going to go that far after we checking the external monitor we're going to jump into the software issues and that's right that was a driver issue as you can see this laptop is running windows 11 and i found most of the hp pavilion 14 dash whatever the rest of the model number by the way, see, the external monitor is absolutely fine. There is no issue when I'm using the trackpad, uh, still the LCD does flicker a lot, but on the external monitor, nothing does happen. Okay, so let's make it easy. We're gonna get into control panel, and then we'll try to find if there is any installed graphics driver in there. If you find on the list, will uninstall it if you don't find no worries we're going to get into device manager and manually we're going to uninstall and remove the graphics driver if that fixes the issue then absolutely fine you know and if it doesn't then changing lcd and lcd flex would be the last solution by the way i checked everything as you can see uh, in the control panel, add and remove, uninstall or change a program. In that section, I did not find anything. So I'm going to close that and right click on this PC and try to find device manager, manage. And from the manage, I'm going to go to device manager. See, still is flickering. Okay, so from device manager section, I'm going to find display driver. As you can see, this is the Intel one. And we're going to uninstall and delete the program completely once you do that don't worry the external monitor would be switched off you're not going to find any signal because the actual graphics driver has been removed but at the same time we can see there is a changes into the laptop the laptop is no longer flickering okay that was an easy solution right okay in your case that could be not the solution it could be something else but it's worth it to give it a try in that way because in that way you are not buying any extra lcd or you don't need to remove uh, the actual uh, lcd from the laptop to see if there is any damage or anything you know and most of the people they don't have any experience how to you know separate the actual lcd from the laptop yeah so that is the easiest way to check. Now I'm gonna switch it off and switch it on just to see if the uh, repair is stable or not and if it's come back. Now, let me tell you the real experiences here. This machine came with Windows 11. Officially not. Officially it came with Windows 10, but somehow my client, he upgraded from Windows 10 to 11 and since he upgraded first couple of weeks was absolutely fine and then suddenly it started 
Okay, so I found when I went to the actual HP driver site and tried to download the graphics driver for Windows 11, I did not find there is any solution. I found they do have only support for Windows 10 for this machine. So let's go to the HP driver site and try to find if there is any graphics driver available for Windows 11 operating system. If you don't find your one, if your one is exactly like that, then I would suggest you please try to downgrade the operating system from Windows 11 to 10. Otherwise, a couple of days later, if the Windows take new updates, the same problem would come back. Okay, that's what happened to that machine anyway. So what I did later on, I just uninstalled Windows 11 and reinstalled Windows 10 on it. Okay, so how to uninstall and reinstall new operating system, if you would like to know, you can see I do have many HP uh, USB boot videos in my, into my channel. You can just check one of them and those are similar way almost same way without any issue you could do that so now as you can see i'm in hp driver site and i selected this machine hp pavilion 14-c3609sa and if you go to the driver identify and select voice as you can see if i click there there is only windows 10 okay from that one i could confirm that is the driver issue because recently I'm running Windows 11 and for Windows 11 there is no graphics driver and that's the reason why it does make this sort of problem okay so after I fixed that one couple of days was fine and later on the same problem came back again so what I did is as I said I uninstalled Windows 11 and reinstalled Windows 10 for the permanent solution and it's now over a month everything is running absolutely fine so i hope that video would help to solve your problem if it does please thumbs up all right so as you can see right now i do have windows 10 and as i said when i installed windows 10 this machine did work absolutely fine as i said more than a couple of months everything is fine there is no more issues okay so that was the actual problem so without replacing any LCDs or getting into the hardware, I would suggest you try in that way. It doesn't cost anything to check. And if it doesn't help this video, then I would say, please double check the LCD connector and LCD if there is any accidental damage. Thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye for now.